Okay, everybody. <clears throat> I got paint on the wings. A little more progress. Get everything in synchronization here. Anyway, there she goes. That's actually the fuselage and cap center to my other tiger cat that's spare fuselage there and spare one sitting over there. Actually, the prototype sitting back over there in a the corner. That's what this went to, but some of the, bell some of the bells and whistles that uh, I added to it here. For those that are interested, let's see if I can get this on video here and kind of see what's going on underneath here. Now I've got a window right there so you can see the locking rod. So I'll actuate the wings here. And this is using the sequencer setup. I am actually got this on my DX18, but it also works on the DX9. That's that noise you hear. And that rod comes through and clears. And I made it a little longer so that it's not right at the seam, but off center. So the leverage point when it's flying, and I have already test flown this twice, it works like a champ. It's not right here, it's it's actually here. This cart this this rod actually comes out to about here. It's like six inches long. And then of course, everybody knows the LX wing folding system from the LX Corsair, which I've used a couple times. But uh, I'll let you see it coming down. Oops, get my camera back here. There's quite a long delay here because of the time it takes for the motors to drive the wings all the way down to lock. And I've got like a three second, a three second delay. And that carbon fiber tube that I've embedded right here comes to right about here. So the wings are actually locked and this whole servo actually goes underneath the nacelle to about halfway so it's from there to there and that's what locks the wing in place when it's in flight there's there's a little wiggle there just a little so that it's not super tight and everything doesn't bind that's kind of what you hear the the little LX servo and I've already burned up two of these motors working on this so the the LX drive system works pretty good but you have to make sure all the hinges are free and that this little guy is allowed to pivot freely I tried to use one of these other servos for that but you have to have a pivot point right here because of the long extension arm and I've burned up this motor but it's fairly easy to replace and then it works like a champ I've never had the little transmission box go bad on me except for one stripped of gear so that's definitely something to have in the spare parts bin, but it's been fun working with it. And I'm going to actually be doing this to the flight line one that I did a while back that I was using tubes in the wing. Now that I know that this works, I'm actually going to install this locking mechanism on that plane so that I won't need it. Now then, on the wing tip, there is a hole right there. So that I can drive a rod all the way down the entire length of the wing if I want to lock it down. Which is usually what I do when I'm storing it because it takes all the pressure off of the joints and the bending here. So, But 
I've been able to engineer it and get it done and have it work reliably, which was the key thing. This thing's taken me almost a year on and off, uh, but I've been hitting it pretty heavy for about the past three weeks here. Give everybody a demo again. You hear those rods coming out of the tubes. Two second delay, the wings start to fold so that they don't bind on each other. Now I've got my strobes working, but the top one's got a burned out bulb, so I've got to replace the top strobe with the burned out bulb. Now my hinges, I got fresh paint on them, so I've got some, I got paint down in them, so they're binding a little bit, so I'm going to have to get in there with an X-Acto and grease them up <clears throat> and lube up the hinges so that they don't bind quite so much. Thing. But I got the initial first coat of paint on today. I uh, decided to go silver because of the heat and the sun, and I already have a La Patrona, and I want this wing, the wings to be compatible with either fuselage I put them on, and at the same time, the other set of wings down there can also fit up on this airplane and nothing changes if I don't want to fly it with the folding wings. So basically this is just set up as an option. Uh, I will be adding the white strobes that, that I have on those wings to the wing tips on this guy and gotta fix that little guy right there on the back. Looks like I burned out one of the Cree light bulbs. I just tried plugging it in, it didn't work, but anyway, here she goes. A view from the back. It took a lot to take a brand new set of these wings and cut them in half, let me tell you. Oh, I actually kind of decorated the inside of the flaps here too. I probably can't see it in my dark garage here, but when they drop down, you can actually see the zinc chromate green underneath them because I'm not going to do gray in the wheel wells. I'm actually doing a, a dark satin olive green for the wheel wells. I like it better than the gray for the silver La Patrona. Anyway guys, folding wings, they work. And this plane, just a few days ago, has already had one flight test and one little accident, which was actually pilot air in my garage and I felt like a total idiot. I was actually uh, working on the plane. I had propellers on it. I was actually flying it with a pair of T28 Trojan propellers, the 1400 millimeter FMS T28 Trojan propellers. And I love these new FMS stands so much that I've got two of them. Great to work on, paint on, do all kind of stuff on. And they wipe down real easy. The paint doesn't stick to them. So I just got through wiping it down. But anyway, back to my story. and. Anyway, had the airplane on the bench, working out here late midnight, charging up the DX9, sat it over here on the table, all the extension cords underneath my feet. I think you see where I'm going with this. Plane sitting plugged in, propellers on, radios on. My foot catches an extension cord, radio comes off the table onto the ground. Guess where the throttle went? Guess where the airplane went? Airplane jumped off that stand like it was like it was Jado assisted. Landed right over here, took every single prop blade and sheared it off. And it actually burned up one of the motors in my folding wings, but it didn't do any damage to them uh, at all. So anyway, I had a uh, <laughs> RC Pilot Air's dumb thumb by leaving my plane plugged in and working on it live. Not to mention with propellers on it, so you'll notice that they're not on it right now, so that if I accidentally bump throttle... Uh, <laughs> the chassis is not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy. I'll give you one more demo here. See if we can kind of get up on the top look here. Down, back up.
All right, hope you guys enjoy. I'll keep you posted as I get more done. I wasn't going to post any more videos on this until I actually had it finished, but couldn't resist. I got a little further today, and it's actually looking kind of good.